guys so thank you so much for joining me for yet another video today we are in St. Jago Hill St. Catherine and I also have a special treat as well as a special announcement regarding Catherine Estate so stay tuned for sticking around for this video guys now today as i said i have a treat for you but if you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button turn on notification leave a comment on this video i really enjoy um, answering all the questions that you had on the previous video and i'm going to enjoy the questions on this one as well so let's just jump right into the video today we are in st jago hills as i said before now st jago hills is located in St. Catherine. It is um, just a few moments outside of Spanish Stone and about 20 to 25 minutes outside of Kingston. Now, there are great views here. You can actually see the Kingston Harbor from here. You can see parts of Portmore from here. You can even see the hills of Clarendon from here. So there's a lot to see. The lots are really big. So really nice residential lots as you will see. And it is just, I think, a great place to make a home. It's really windy as well. Like, I guess you can go ahead and hear the breeze from the video. And it is the perfect setting for what I want to discuss today. So today I want to discuss building versus buying and which one is better. For me though, I think it is based on an individual standpoint. What is right for me, what is better for me may not be the best thing for you. So some persons would say, oh, it's better to buy. And some persons would say it's better to build. But it is based on the individual. But today we're going to look at the pros of building your own property. Obvious pro of them all is the creative control that building on own land offers you. Many of these new developments have so many restrictions on what you can do with your unit. The color that you can paint it in, can I add to the front, can I add to the back, can I even have a fence. A lot of those restrictions will come up when you buy a scheme unit. But with a uh, building on your own land you can go ahead and design that dream home and just go ahead and create it another obvious pro is land size so today we are in st jago hills and st jago hills actually had quarter acre or rather have a quarter acre and half acre lots and these ranged from 3.5 upwards to 4.8 million dollars for a quarter acre can you imagine how many fruit trees you can plant on a quarter acre of land it's amazing another and most obvious pro is how cost effective it can be to build on own land and recently i discovered this company called campbell's general constructions and repairs so what campbell's do what campbell's does <laughs> is they actually construct your own units from top to bottom for you so for example, you can get a two bedroom, 900 square feet home that consists of two beds, one bath, open concept, living and dining, kitchen, laundry room, front patio, fully tile, inclusive of bedroom and kitchen cabinets. And all of this for $9 million. So it's like having a scheme unit at a fraction of the cost. And they will just go ahead and take care of everything for you. They do larger units as well. And I'm leaving their contact information just in case you'd like to speak with them and have them design your home. I was told that it takes about nine months for them to do a full construction. Additionally, I did some research and I found that many of the commercial banks and building societies offers loans in conjunction with NHT's BOL 
and that's build on own land loan they offer loans um for you to build on your own land and victoria mutual building society vmbs offers a really great loan so you can go ahead and check them out for that i'm not affiliated with the company i just think that it's a great loan so you can check it out and enjoy the pros of building on own land Guys, if you've made it to the end of the video, I have the treat that I promised you. Now, on February 12th, 2021, that was on Friday, Loop actually released a story that indicates that the first 50 units in Catherine Estates will be ready by May. Yeah, so that's a three months from now. These units will actually be ready. Um, now, what does this mean? So, I said previously in a video in November that I have knowledge that there are some persons that made a deposit, that made deposits within um, 2012 and 2013. Now, those persons made their deposits and those that i think they did not take back those deposits so does what does this mean regarding the 50 units i'm not sure i'm just sharing the information that i have with you and letting you know that the first 50 units will be ready by may so you can continue looking out for additional information regarding these but that is all for today thank you so much for watching this video thank you for joining the community 